The goose has been roasting for about 75 minutes. So now I'm going to baste with a mixture of honey and white wine. He's known for eating things that are bizarre and may make you do a double take when you see what's on his plate. Now, though, Andrew Zimmern is highlighting dishes that embrace our love of hunting and fishing. His new show, Wild Game Kitchen, showcases meals centered around wild game, fish, and foraged vegetables. We are excited to have the world recognized chef here at the four with us. Thank you for hanging out for a couple of minutes. I've got, I do whatever Frank says. Is That's been, <laughs> been my modus operandi for almost 30 years. Is well, this your camping attire? I, I actually had a, a <laughs> shot today at the doctor, uh, not related to musculature thing and so I'm in soft clothes oh. so well you look fabulous thank you I, I you know we've known each other for so long I did not know about your roots with doing hunting fishing all this stuff you, yeah. you, this is this is truly part of you it, it's it's one of my greatest passions I've been doing it since I was literally since I was born my father would lower me as a three and four year old in between these massive rocks on the jetties out on Long Island to pull up ropes of clams wow. uh, sorry ropes of mussels and we would go clamming uh, out by Barnes Landing in the place in Long Island where we summered and I slowly got into Long Island goose and duck hunting with some friends and deer hunting in college up in Osable Falls in northwestern New York and then when I moved here obviously it just exploded but sure. when you guys listed a whole bunch of verbs in there <laughs> but but also it's about it's about cooking and eating the magic of this show I, and, and we talked about this earlier um, is really not so much about catching a trout and then cooking it. It's about cooking it, but it's more about techniques to cook any kind of fish. Mm -hmm. And we happen to do it over live fire, but we also go inside to do auxiliary recipes that by necessity are better done in a kitchen. So it is that something for everyone show, no matter what you're gonna love, the look of this well, thing. Well, like here, where are you and what are you doing here? Uh, it looks like I am uh, frying, sh what is that, shrimp? And I saw a piece of fish earlier. Oh, Look no, that no, that, that is uh, a Minnesota, that's our shore lunch. That's walleye, that's the grilled trout wrapped in prosciutto that we do with a, oh. a salsa verde. And then just showing people, however, indirect coals, how easy it is to actually prepare uh, fish on any kind of grill. And even if you take this recipe, and, and we have it posted online at andrewzimmer.com with all the other recipes, it, if you have to throw it under a broiler, you can do that too. That's the beauty of it. We've been promising people we can help them with their boring bonfire food. Don't get mad at us. I mean, most people do no. brats, hamburgers. Do you have a couple quick ideas that people could spice up their next camping trip? No, ab absolutely. I mean, look, you, you want to create things that you can pack in uh, to a place. You don't, don't want to be lugging oils and, and <laughs> things like that. But if you have a cooler, I always tell people, make sure those first two nights are the nights if you're going for four or five nights out into the woods. You know, pre-marinate your 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 fish, your proteins, things like that. They will really benefit from that extra day or two in that liquid. As long as you're at a, at a really nice cold temperature, and with today's modern coolers, they can hold that temperature for a long time. Pre-mix all your rubs and flour, along with baking soda and other things. It's easy to make muffins in a Dutch oven or pull apart bread or whatever it is that you like to wake up to. Um, wrapping and preparing foods before you move out. You know. Chop 10 onions and put them in a Ziploc bag. Most people don't think of that, but when you're back from a heavy day of hiking and setting up your tent in a new location, the last thing you want to do is that kind of stuff. It's great to be able to just throw your protein on a grill, saute up some potatoes with onions and peppers and keep it simple. The food that we demonstrate in this show is not complex. We're not doing uh, miniature portions designed by an interior decorator. We're not doing three-star <laughs> Michelin food. This is the cooking show that I've sort of always wanted to do. Um, we, we have a very close mutual friend who's preached at me for many, many decades, don't be the best, be the only, yeah. right? And I'm not aware of any show in America that is taking the attitude about sustainability that we have. I believe everyone should be eating a meal taken from the wild once a week. We should have a meal from a can once a week. If we're not a senior or immunocompromised or a young kid, we should skip a meal once a week. It's in our best interest to do so. If we did that, we'd relieve a seventh of the pressure on our commercial food system. So I think a show like this aligns with not only a modern outlook towards food, but is instructive and prescriptive and has tons of takeaway. And by the way, if you just want to be entertained by someone who I think is vaguely funny, that would be me, not you. You're very funny. <laughs> He's very funny. That would, it, it, it's an enter, at, at its core, if you're not entertaining people on a Monday night at nine o'clock on the Outdoor Channel. What are you doing? 
then you should be in another business. Well, now we want to watch it. Thank you so much yeah. for being here. Wild Game Kitchen airs on the Outdoor Channel. Thank You're you. You're the man. Have fun Thank doing you. it. Thank yeah. you, friends. Appreciate you being here.